Am I the asshole for telling my sister to stop taking showers with her husband in my house? My female 32, sister female 28, and her husband male 32 moved in with us two days ago after they lost their apartment to medical debts for their child, my nephew. My husband and I are more than happy to have them stay for few weeks till they get this resolved. However, yesterday at 7 p.m., I was in the kitchen when my husband rushed in and said that he saw both my sister and her husband walk out of the bathroom. They'd most likely taken a shower together. My husband said that it irked him and I agreed that what they did was somewhat inappropriate. He asked me to speak to my sister on the matter and I did. She got defensive asking how this is affecting me or my husband in any way. I told her that it made my husband feel uncomfortable and would rather that they just take their shower separately. She started ranting about being overwhelmed by their son's health problems and not having some alone time together as a married couple and found this activity as a bonding time to spend together. I apologized for how she felt but requested that she just do as asked. She got mad at me and said that I was being inconsiderate and she didn't understand my husband's hang-up on what she and her husband do. We started arguing and she stormed off to the guest's room where my nephew and Bill are. She's not speaking to me but my husband said I did the right thing by speaking to her and setting this boundary. Am I the asshole? Am I, and my husband, overreacted to this? Some infos. 1. My husband did not mention hearing anything, just that he saw them get out of the bathroom. And yes they were clothed. 2. It's the only bathroom in the house. 3. They spent approximately 10 plus in the shower according to my husband. Edit I'm gonna bring my husband to look at the responses and help answer some questions down here, okay? Just give me a few minutes. Edit I'm sorry I can't respond to every single comment but my husband says he's uncomfortable and doesn't want to expand on the situation. You husband came, rushing in, to tell you that your sister and her husband took a shower together? This is so dumb you are the asshole. Get a life bruh. Leave them alone they're stressed enough as it is. Edit. Obligatory wow I didn't expect all the updates and awards, thanks. More importantly, I was a bit flippant in my original comment, so I want to use my newfound fame and glory, lol, to say something to everyone saying, your house your rules, or, they need to get a hotel. That's all fine and good, we're here to give our opinions on the situation, but can we remember, this couple just lost their home. They are in serious medical debt. They have a very sick child. The likelihood of their marriage surviving the immense stress and hardship they are experiencing is statistically low. Can we get some compassion for these people? Can you leave your personal hang-ups behind and give them some support? Can you find happiness that they are making time and effort to spend together? What's really more important here? Such an easy you are the asshole. That's so embarrassing. If my spouse rushed in just to tell me that, I would be like you don't tell me that lol. Not enough information. Unless they were loudly banging, why do you care? There's nothing weird or untoward by a couple showering together. My husband and I often shower together and 99% of the time it is completely non-sexual. We find it to be a nice time to chat without fear of interruption from our kids. My parents do every day. It started out as a safety thing, my mother used to pass out sometimes when hot water hit her, just before menopause she got a PMDD diagnosis, so he wanted to make sure she didn't get hurt. But now it's just a habit that they enjoy, find comfort in especially nearing retirement. I grew up with it, so original poster and her husband's pearl clutching just seems overly dramatic for literally no reason. I had friends in NYC that showered together every day. Most apartments in the city have only one bathroom and when you have both have to be in the office around the same time it's just easier. They used to wave from the shower window on the weekends when we were meeting up for brunch. It was hilarious. And they were roommates. You are the asshole. As long as the shower's clean when they're done, you shouldn't care. Greater than I was in the kitchen when my husband rushed in and said that he saw both my sister and her husband walk out of the bathroom. This is a strange hang-up for him to have. Was he raised in an environment with unhealthy views about sex and intimacy? I was having that same thought. Why exactly is he uncomfortable at the mere thought of two consenting adults having sexual relations behind a closed door? And that's assuming that's what Hay did in there. They could have just wanted privacy for a conversation. Or to cry together under the water or any number of non-sexual reasons. You are the asshole and so is your husband. Why is he suppressed about what a married couple does? What makes them taking a shower together inappropriate? Did they walk out the bathroom naked? Why is your husband even making assumptions about what another couple does in the shower? What exactly is it that irks him about your sister and her husband being together in the shower? Your husband is either jealous or is seriously projecting. 
If that isn't the case, he's being very creepy and invasive. Edit. Thanks for the upvotes and awards guys. Her husband only wants to imagine his sill in the shower alone than imagine a married woman daring to have some alone time with her husband. Wait. Let me see if I've got this straight. Their child is so ill they've lost their home to cover his treatment. And you freak out because they walked out of the bathroom together? You or the asshole doesn't even come close. Jesus Christ. Right. Like what a fuck. From the sounds of it, they're sharing a fucking room with their child in original posters home too. So this is likely the one and only time they get any freaking, alone time. FFS. Yes, original poster, you are the asshole. The only bigger asshole here, if at all possible, is your husband. What a fuck is his, and your, problem? Question mark. Your husband is upset because your grown, married sister might have been what? Showering together or showering together? Either way that's kinda weird. Especially if he felt the need to go tattle to you about it. Does he expect them to not sleep together, too? Because he might be shocked by the things that happen in a bed. They're going through a rough time, they need a bit of time without you guys or the kid around, and unless there's enough rooms that they don't have to bunk with the kid, that's not happening. Soft you are the asshole for you, your husband is a h for making a big deal out of this. I think part of the issue is it sounds like them and their kid are in the same room so they're not gonna be able to do anything in bed. They saw the bathroom as a safe space they could get some privacy. I still say original poster is the asshole, where else are they supposed to do it? In a car on a public road like teenagers? Adults don't get off so easy for being caught at that. I think original poster husband has some issues with intimacy. Unless they're super religious, who in their right mind would get so upset about it? You are the asshole. What two consenting adults do in a bathroom is none of your business. If you couldn't hear them and they didn't walk out naked, what does it matter? Furthermore, it kind of sounds like your husband is jealous. Yup. Husband is legit jealous. Your house, your rules, and the bathroom is a public space, so you're not wrong to set this boundary. However, I also do understand the need for privacy for a little intimacy, even if it's not completely sexual, which I'm guessing they aren't getting while staying in your guest room. If you feel uncomfortable about them sharing a shower, maybe as a peace offering to your sister you can ask if they'd like a few hours alone together and you can take your nephew out of the house to spend time with you. This will show your sister that you care about her feelings, while also keeping your boundaries about the bathroom. Lovely suggestion. Original poster, if your reaction is, uh we're already letting them stay here, why should we do more? Then why MBTA? And if your husband's reaction is at all, ew ick, then he's a prolapsed asshole with piles. Your sister and husband are in a painful place and were seeking comfort and intimacy, just as a loving committed couple should. It's odd that your husband was bothered, but prudishness can be forgiven if he can be kind. You've said you and your husband are happy to have them stay for a few weeks. I hope you've all talked about acceptable timelines and what ifs, and that you truly feel positive about having them as guests for a while despite whatever costs and inconvenience. That's very kind of you. But I think your husband might be ta for reacting as he did in the moment, and more assish the more he doubles down. Two adults in the bathroom together is literally how many bathrooms are built. And they're married. I was raised that when you have house guests, you should be as warm, welcoming, generous, and accommodating as possible. If you think someone's intentions aren't good or they want to take advantage or act entitled, you're not obligated to extend hospitality. But stingy hospitality is not hospitality at all. You are the asshole. They're adults. They took a shower together. Me and my husband shower together every single day. Now I may not personally do it at someone else's house, but I really don't see how it's some scandalous thing either way. Unless you can hear them banging or something, there's literally no reason you should be concerned with it. TBH you and your husband are weird for even caring emo. I don't shower every day with my fiancé, and when I need to shave legs and bits, I prefer to not have a witness, not to mention our walk-in shower doesn't have space for the contortions needed for my shaving and him at the same time, but most the time when we shower together there isn't even anything super sexual. It's just 10 to 15 minutes of time alone, as a couple, where we take time to interact closely with each other and relax. Telling a married, highly stressed out couple that they can't take 10 to 15 minutes to themselves to distress and reconnect as a couple before facing the day is BS. Also, save water, shower with a friend. If it's the only bathroom, they're saving you big on water bills in morning routines, so tell your husband to suck it up for a couple weeks till they're back on their feet. You are the asshole. You are the asshole let her have some time with her husband. 
so weird your husband even cares about this. I find it really weird that he happens to incidentally catch them coming out the shower, yet he knows they made no noise during the entire shower, knows the length of time they are in the shower, consistently. This is what makes me think he's got his panties in a wad about this totally stupid non-issue because he's been trying to spy on original poster's sister in the shower and he's getting pissed off that her husband is ruining the show for him. People have a right to lay down boundaries for guests in their home, but being uncomfortable with a married couple quietly taking a shower together is just so weird and nonsensical. It feels like he has a creepy ulterior motive. Original poster you are the asshole and so is your husband. You are the asshole. You and your husband both. Neither of you would have been aware of them, showering, together until hubby saw them come out of the bathroom together. You didn't hear them doing anything, didn't feel banging on the walls, just saw them come out of the bathroom together. What's next? They sleep in separate rooms because you might see them go in the room together and imagine them laying down in the bed together? Gasp. The horror and sinfulness of it all. How dare they? You are the asshole. This is weirdly prudish. Unless they're in there shooting a video for of and making all kinds of noise, who cares? And if they are making a video, well, at least you don't have to worry about them not paying rent on time. Your husband rushed in to tattle about watching two grown, married adults come out of the bathroom together? And you think they are the a-holes? Ick, I am embarrassed for him. And now you're at it? He's timing them in the shower? That's very creepy. Not to mention odd that you think 10 minutes in the shower is a long time. My husband and I pretty much always shower together. It's not even often a sexual thing. It's just one of the few places we have together with no distractions. It's sweet. And you know what? If we do get sexual guess what it's a fucking shower. Anything you'd have to worry about gets washed away. You and your husband are both you are the asshole. And gross. And judgy. And overbearing. And childish. And probably jealous. Came here to say the same exact thing. My husband and I have even sat in the bathroom while the other showers just to chat about our day. Original poster's husband timing them and rushing to tell on them is so out of line. I would hate to think someone is monitoring every shower I take. You are the asshole what's the deal? Are they not supposed to get naked together at all in your home? Are they sharing a room with their son, which would make alone time hard? A shower cleans way easier than the bed. I don't understand being so tight that you can't let a stressed out, adult couple a small window of time to relax together. You are the asshole how does that affect you and your husband in any way? But the bigger question is, why is a 32 year old man so upset over two adults taking a shower together? Lost their apartment to medical debt is such a bleak sentence. The American, I'm guessing, medical system is the asshole. You are the asshole you're just a couple of prudish busybodies. Mind your own business. You are the asshole and so is your husband. Why does it make your husband uncomfortable? Let me guess, because they might be having sex in the shower. What's next? They can't sleep in the same bed because they might have sex? They can't be alone behind a closed door because they might be having sex? Seriously you and your husband need to get over this ridiculous hangup. Yeah, my boyfriend and I live together and shower together all of the time. It's just not sexual anymore but I still love showering together. You are the asshole completely possible that it isn't even a sexual thing but just an intimacy thing. My Mill plus Phil have always had their showers, baths together at my house. Was only shocking the first time they stayed after I moved in with my mister. My husband and I take showers together at least one a week and it's usually just nice to decompress under the water and just talk about our days. You are the asshole. It's very generous of you to put your sister, her husband and their child up in your house. However, you and your husband do need to be okay with the fact that they're going to be physically intimate with each other in your house, they're adults, they have needs, and it's not reasonable to place demands like this on them as if they're teenagers. They're not doing this in front of you. They're not affecting you in any way, besides the murky knowledge that they're taking showers together in your house. If you can't handle this, where do you draw the line? No kissing at the dinner table? No TV after 10 PM? You're not being generous with your space if you're placing unreasonable expectations on them while they're supposed to be living in your house as their home. Wow. You are the asshole. And the fact that it makes your husband uncomfortable is strange. You are the asshole judging by how prudish your husband is I'm assuming you've never tried it so take it from someone who has, shower sex sucks. Even if that is what they were doing, which you have no evidence of, the odds that either of them, finished, in there are pretty low. Also why would it bother you more if they had sex in the shower than in bed? 
It sounds like they're sharing the guest room with their son as well, which makes it even worse. It's probably the only 10 minutes they've had to themselves since they moved in. You are the asshole. They're being considerate and conserving water. Say thank you and allow them dignity and privacy during challenging times. You are the asshole. Your sister and her family are going through an incredibly difficult time right now, and they're all sharing one bedroom. Why does your husband care whether or not they take a shower together? What is he getting out of depriving them of such a small, harmless happiness at such a stressful time in their lives? For those of you saying, it's her house, I sure do hope you never fall on hard times and have someone treat you like this when you need kindness and understanding. And original poster, one day you may need to count on your sister and her husband to help you out. How will you want to be treated then?